I do not have an intro exactly yet. This is gonna be our first video that I post after changing my name from Lil Baby Lexi to Lex and Rika. And if anyone wants to ask, like, why Rika? Rika is his nickname. He doesn't go by Ricky. Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick or what? Richard? Yeah, I'm definitely not Richard. This video is gonna be a mukbang slash q and I know you guys have been waiting and I've been kind of lagging on it and I am so sorry for the lag. So basically guys, she hasn't been able to record, right? Cause I've been at work most of the time that she does record and most of the time it's cause she's busy or we're busy cause of her, not cause of her but our little one. Alright, I gotta get the questions. Mm. And let me know what you guys think, Canes or Chick-fil-A cause Ew, Chick-fil-A is the school stand. We got canes, but I look like chick a little bit better. Why did Stella have to stay in the NICU? Well, she basically, when she got out the womb, the doctor had explained to us. They basically said that she came out too fast, and she still has some liquid in her. So, not liquid, but some type of fluid. We had to wait until, like, the fluid was pretty much, like... Out of her system. Uh -huh. Not really, like, out of her system, because some liquid was still in her. Yeah. But she, that she was able to kind of like get it out and still breathe good, you know? So that's why she had to stay longer. How was your birthing experience? To be honest, it wasn't too bad. He's making it stop it hurts. Like, I remember in my pregnancy, everyone was like, oh my God, don't do it. Like, or well, like, not don't, don't do it because it's going to happen. But it's scary. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. You're going to scream, cry, whatever. Like, all this Stuff that was like low-key like kind of making me feel like okay like but honestly it's all, really de that it all depends too definitely like some people could sustain uh like more than the others mm -hmm. what's contractions painful <sighs> okay once i started dilating to a certain number like i think i was dilating at four or like, maybe I no think, i think i like, think i went a little bit higher i think after like eight i think that's when she was like yeah because they gave me pit pitocin i think that's how you say it correctly Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it literally induced me like crazy where it was just like I jumped from like three to eight real quick and it hurt so bad. So I didn't get to like kinda like, you know, ease into the pain and be like, okay, like, all right, four is kinda hard. Okay, five is a little bit harder, but I got this. No, I jumped from three to eight out of nowhere and it was so painful. I was just like, no, like I could not. I think I almost started crying. <gasps> oh my goodness, that reminds me of, I did end up crying that day, but not for that reason. Did you get the epidural? I did. Once I hit eight, huh? I think it was eight. Yeah, she was like, hell no, get, get the doctor, and I was like, alright. Like, they literally gave it to me, walked out, a couple minutes passed, and then, boop, my water broke. Oh, my water just broke. Oh, okay. Damn. Did you cry when the baby came out? Did you cry when the baby came out? When she came out? I feel like I was getting emotional, but at the same time, so she came out, but we had worry, man, because they were like, oh, she's not, like, breathing correctly, like, this, mm. this, and that. Mm -hmm. So we, we couldn't necessarily, like, react the correct way, as well as we couldn't even do, like, skin to skin for a couple of minutes, because she came out, and they were like, oh, like, get the doctors, this, and this, and that. So we were, like, paranoid, like, like, what do you mean, get the doctors, you know, like... Yeah, when she came out and they put her on me for, like, a second, I did shed one tear, but then it was, like, that's how quick it was. One tear came out and they took her, and I was just, like, like, what the hell, like, what's going on? We did cry when we actually, like, saw her in the NICU and, like, held her and mm -hmm. got to experience that. I ended up crying, like, a lot. Like, I think every time I went to the NICU and I saw her and I held her, I cried. Did you go number two while giving birth? No, I did not. <laughs> some people go number two? Yeah, some people oh, do yeah. go number two. Like, Honestly, guys. When the baby's coming out, it's like, bleep. I'm gonna be honest. I did not look. He was scared. How long were you in active labor? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, like, 4 hours because I gave birth, like, at 12, like, 12 old. Because my water broke at 12.06 and I gave birth at, she came out at 12.17. So, yeah, like four hours. If you got the epidural, did it work? Yes. It did. While giving birth, I did not feel nothing. How many pushes did it take for Stella to come out? I Honestly, I want to say like a good seven to eight. 
like good ones after like the fourth or fifth push the doctor was already saying like oh like her head's right here like you want to look and that's when i was like nah i don't want to look yeah like honestly how does it feel to be a parent how do you feel, babe? How do I feel? Honestly, let's get to it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Dad. Certain things I feel like do change. Uh, your your perspective about certain things do change. For example, uh, I was always kind of ambitious, but now I'm more ambitious because now I have her, and obviously I've been having this one next to me. But now it's another like initiative for me to just do even like better for me and for. Her. For my little family that's why i feel like like i gotta like work hard to work hard you know i remember the first couple weeks he kept on like waking up just to see if she was breathing he would put his yeah. finger right here and he'd be like okay she's breathing and then he would go back to bed and i was like what the f okay but how do you feel honestly love it like i i do love being a mom who was in the room with you while i gave birth just him that was just me that was us too I didn't want anyone in there. Like, imagine, like, people, like, literally were in my comments, and they're like, why wasn't your brother in the room with you? And I'm just like, why would I want my brother to be in the room of me giving birth? That's weird. Uh, will you be showing Stella's face in any videos? If not, when do you think you will? So I already have... Um, but we did decide that we're not going to be showing her as much. So it's like you guys will get like a glimpse of her. Yeah, you guys will definitely see her like in videos. Like we'll just be like, oh, she's chilling right here, you know. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to have the camera all up on her face. Also, I'm very... <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> no, I'm okay. Yeah? Oh, no. This is for me. <laughs> wow. So I was choking. I said you're good, though. I checked. Whatever. Anyway, I was going to say like if you guys notice the noise, it's her little bouncer it's making noise to keep her like asleep was it hard to be away from your daughter while she was in the NICU for me yes yes I cried but I cried a lot honestly the thing that I feel like helped both of us to be kind of like at ease was thankfully that they provided like a service where we could see her too mm -hmm, on the phone yeah so they had a website and we were able to log in and there, was, and there was a camera most of the time the doctors didn't care if it was on her but i did so i would just i would just go in the room and like make sure the camera's on her then i'll just go back to our room and we'll just check on the website um we'll like sleep better we'll feel more at ease a question that i get asked a lot on tiktok is did you tear i did not tear at all like i really did not tear at all like at all are you breastfeeding or formula? I am breastfeeding. It is kind of painful, like the first couple weeks. I feel like now it's like a little bit easier for me. What did you do to not tear? Honestly, okay, I'm not through. Throughout my whole pregnancy, I hardly ever exercised. No, she really didn't. I did honest. drink the pregnancy tea, but I started it late. I started it at 32 weeks. Oh, well, that's not really late because I think that's when you were actually supposed to start it. He did, um... Uh, well, I didn't drink it. No. He did massage me down there to, like, kind of just, like, help. Um, but that was rarely, too. You didn't do it a lot. What was your first thought when you saw? My first thought was, like, is she fine, you know? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, once she, she's out, that's when the doctors pretty much tell you, like, like, what's up, you know? Like... Your daughter, you know, she she looks fine, you know, she's not fine. So that that was my first thought. When I first saw her, I don't know, I mean, like, I looked at her. And then I did notice that, like, she wasn't, like, crying. And she was, like, low-key turning purple. So I did kind of already get, like, a feeling like something was wrong. And then when they took her, it was just, like, uh, like, okay, something is wrong. It was very, like, scary, like, I, I, I gotta say. It was very... There was, like, a lot of worry in that, honestly. Would you want more kids? He literally tells me, like, let's have another one. <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Nah, I'm, I'm, really I'm telling not. her, let's have, like, yes, I do plan on having more kids. I just don't want one. I do want a, a couple kids. No, God, please, no. But it's not something I'm really thinking about, like, too much right now in this instant. He wants like five to six. Not even, just like seven. Five. When did it jump? <laughs> it went from. You're not done? 
No, it oh, went no. from four to seven. No, I told you I was one and done. I've been telling you I'm getting my tubes tied. I know you're not. Thank What? I know you want eight. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want no more. Honestly, guys, we're thinking about having like pretty much three, but like yeah. like like I said, we're just taking our time. How do you guys feel about sleep? Damn. <laughs> I'll answer it for you. <clears throat> Summer girl, okay? I don't get no sleep. I don't just hear her cry. I hear her complain. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what you were gonna say. I mean, because she's holding her. So, guys, basically, um, I don't get no sleep because every two hours I have to feed her. No, I don't feed her every two hours now. No, 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 no. At first, she wakes you, up. you said like, oh, in the beginning. At first, yeah. Well, something like, how do you can feel I, about it? Can okay, I be yeah, you? Yeah, 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 go, yeah, yeah, okay. go for it. Knock Nobody yourself out. Right now. So, basically, guys, uh, the first couple of days I couldn't sleep because it was every two hours I had to feed her. But other than that, uh, now I can sleep a little bit more. But those two hours were very painful. The only time I would sleep because my boyfriend, he'll stay up late with her. But other than that, I have no sleep for the first couple of days. I feel like she doesn't even act like that. I'm just exaggerating it. He yeah. is. He is. Okay, no, but how do you feel about sleep now, though? It's already been a month. Okay, I will say, okay, like, uh, without playing games. The first, co the co first couple of days is like, Damn, cause cause you're not used to it at all. The the schedule, you're jumping into a new schedule, and it's less sleep. He honestly could have slept more if he didn't wake up out of nowhere just to go check if she was breathing. This is the end of the video. Make sure you guys turn on your notifications. We'll try to post as much as we can. It's kind of hard now, cause it's not just us. We have a little one with us now. Mm -hmm. But if it feels like the energy is like not in this video. I'm super tired. Just give us a little bit more time to get adjusted to her because, like I said, it's only been a month with her and we're not fully adjusted. But my energy will be back, I promise. It definitely will. So I love you guys all. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Comment down below what you want to see more often. You're going to close it, Bill? I'm just kidding. And stay tuned in for future videos. But we'll catch you guys on the next one. But yeah, guys, we're out.